guys, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Today, I'm going to make a simple yet delicious recipe. It's so yummy and it gets you already ready and cozy for fall. So, this is one of my pumpkin drinks. If you guys love the Starbucks pumpkin steamer, you're definitely gonna love this drink. So come on in so I can show you what you're gonna be needing for this recipe. For your spices, you're gonna be needing one teaspoon of cinnamon, one eighth teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. You're also going to be needing one fourth teaspoon of salt, as well as a cinnamon stick, but this is going to be optional for you. One teaspoon of vanilla, one fourth cup of maple syrup, half a cup of coconut sugar. You're also going to be needing 100% pure pumpkin and you're not going to use the whole can. You're going to use half of the can or about one cup of pumpkin, one can of evaporated milk. Last ingredient is milk. And this milk can be of your choice. It can be whole milk, 2%, whatever you guys like. But you're gonna be using about 36 ounces of the milk, which is about three of the can of evaporated milk. I'll show you what I do as far as like measuring it for my drink. So guys, let's get to making this delicious drink. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your can of pumpkin now the heat is off on the pan and you're going to want a pot, like a pot looking, a deep one. And I'm just going to take half and like I said, you guys don't have to be precise about it, but it's about one cup of pumpkin puree. And once I add the pumpkin puree, I'm also going to add my evaporated milk in here as well. Now, the reason why I didn't tell you guys the exact measurement was like I said, these cans are 12 ounces. And what I do with my milk is I just take the can and I use it as my measuring cup. And I'm going to take three of these cans. See? No measuring cup needed, guys. Now, if you guys are not dairy drinkers and you want to substitute it, it would be great with almond milk or your favorite non-dairy milk as well. Just add about 48 ounces of your non-dairy liquid. Now I'm going to put all of my spices in. Guys, this is what gives your pumpkin steamer a kick because the spices are gonna give you that extra yumminess for your drink. My youngest, Christian, loves this drink. He always asks me to make it. Now I'm also gonna put my teaspoon of vanilla and my sweeteners inside, which is my maple syrup and my coconut sugar. Now guys, you have to make this comfortable for your own home. If you guys don't have coconut sugar or if you don't have maple syrup just substitute it with the sugars that you like it can be any you know sweetener that you like in your home you can use brown sugar with regular sugar as well as a substitution for that so you guys have to do what's best and what's comfortable for your family so now i'm going to turn on the heat and you're going to want it on like a medium medium high flame and you're going to take a whisk see how everything looks like it's staying on the top that's because it is cold right now all your ingredients are cold once it heats up it's going to get and infuse all of those flavors now like i said this cinnamon stick is optional but i highly recommend it guys because this gives it a good cinnamony flavor cinnamon 
And I love the taste of, as we say in Spanish, canela, which means cinnamon. So I just whisk all of that pumpkin, all of those ingredients together. And you're just going to want to heat it through. The reason why I take the whisk to it is because that way I break up all of that pumpkin puree and I don't get like chunks in there. So that's the reason why you want to take a whisk and whisk it through. I'll show you once it's almost done because at the end you're going to have like little bubbles forming on the edge of your pan to where it's hot enough. If you guys don't want it as sweet or if you want it less sweet, I mean, you guys play with it and taste it yourself and do what's best for your family and the way that you like it. I'm just giving you ideas of what you can do. This way your family can get it and you can have maybe more than one cup if you want. <laughs> As we were filming guys we had a power outage so excuse the lighting if it changed on the side see how it's starting to bubble a little bit that's a good indicator that your drink is done because you don't want it so scorching hot so let's get this in the cup guys so this is real life guys power outages happen all over the state so it just happened to us <laughs> So we're going to serve this and then I'm going to show you and taste it for you. There you have it guys. Instead of getting upset about the little things that happen in life, just make the best of it. Now I get to enjoy this outside. Look at how yummy it is. Mmm. You guys, that's better than if you go and buy your own at Starbucks or any coffee shop. It tastes so good. And you get to treat yourself with this pumpkin drink. So until next time, guys, don't forget to have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye! Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more of these videos.